What's up guys, today I'll be talking about the Ikelos SMG, which is dropping this week from the Wave 7 boss kill. This gun has a unique perk on it like all the other EP weapons. This one has a perk that says breaking an enemy's shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic precision damage for a short period of time. So we're gonna break down that perk and actually see what it does. So here I'm gonna get a baseline damage of what this hand cannon does to this major. It hits for 199 without the buff on the SMG proct. But now let's do the SMG break the shield and swap and now it hits 298 which is exactly 50% more damage. So 50% is quite a lot. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a look at how long that perk actually lasts. As you see here once I break the shield I start the timer and it's roughly 5-ish seconds. I don't really see exactly when it stops but my best guess is 5 seconds on the dot which would make sense because that's what the shotgun perk how long it lasts also. You can do some pretty cool combos with this gun with uh, the tractor cannon where you weaken an enemy to void damage, have your SMG on void, that way you can break the shield faster, and your precision damage is buffed also after that, so it's like a chain reaction type thing. Also, another thing I tested was to see if this weapon actually works on only the target you break the shield or just in general. As you see here, I hit 390s on those enemies after I break the wizard's shield, which is the normal damage. So it only works on the target you actually break the shield of, which is pretty good that they actually found a way to code that correctly, because I could see that being broken. My favorite exotic to run with these are the Fidian Aspect on Warlock, because it allows you to swap weapons faster and also reload. And basically the whole point of this SMG is just to like swap around, break a shield with it, swap to your kinetic, and you know chain stuff back and forth, back and forth. Being able to swap and reload things faster is really cool. Actually allows you to do some pretty cool combos like this. As you're seeing, I can proc kill clip and the SMG perk at the same time and get a plus 125% buff on my kinetic precision damage for roughly 5 seconds, which is pretty cool. Not very useful, but it's pretty cool that you can do stuff like that in this game. Basically, the only time I ever use this SMG is with the tractor cannon setup. I like to tractor cannon lanes and swap to the SMG because it's void, it does more damage than if someone has a shield. I take down the shield and swap to my primary and just do this whole like rotation back and forth. That's pretty cool. And that's why the fitting aspects are really good with this setup. Anyways, I think this SMG is a very nice weapon in the game for PvE, but I don't think it's a necessary weapon. I don't think it's one that you must get like the EP shotgun. So if you're going to farm only one week of the EP, I would do it on a week with a shotgun if you don't have it yet. But if you already have the EP shotgun and you're just farming for friends or whatever, this SMG is very nice to go after. I wouldn't say it's like one that you're going to grind 50 completions a week until you get it. I don't think it's that good. But it's definitely a nice addition to your collection of weapons that you can use and pull out whenever. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.